translated and dubbed by Embargo Studio. The world was shocked when Russia announced its special operation in Ukraine, and almost every country was affected by it. This conflict has become a true challenge for the world, and the Western countries have denounced Russia for starting it by imposing sanctions. Meanwhile, China, one of the largest countries in the world, has adopted an ambiguous stance on this issue. On the one hand, the Chinese government hasn't explicitly condemned the conflict, and they keep criticizing the West. On the other hand, they express their support for Ukraine's territorial integrity and wishes for a peaceful resolution. In today's video, we will discuss how China may benefit from this conflict, and what challenges it may face. The first benefit is an opportunity to develop its economic power by using Russia to absorb as much of the market as possible. Since the beginning of the conflict, Russia has been struck by sanctions from almost every developed country in the world that used to be its trade partners. Hundreds of Western companies have already left the Russian market, and it is unclear whether they will return. China maintained a neutral position and hasn't imposed sanctions on Russia, but at the same time it's not willing to be a part of the conflict. This could allow Chinese companies to enter the Russian market and exploit it, especially due to low competition in many sectors of the Russian domestic market. Chinese manufacturers would be able to penetrate the market by providing Russia with cars, home appliances, electronics, and so on. Low prices for raw material exports to China will also be a critical factor. Russia has been virtually sealed off from the major world markets, so it will have to refocus its export potential exclusively on China. Therefore, the world's second largest economy will become the main and maybe even the only buyer of Russian resources. By turning Russia into a monopsony, China would be able to set its own terms and lower the prices as much as they want. Without no other buyers, Moscow would have to play by Beijing's rules. Though at the moment, this does not apply to gas and oil, which are still being purchased by Europe. But not for long, as Europe plans to stop importing resources from Russia altogether. By using the outline strategy, China could increase its influence in Russia, and considering that even now the Chinese economy is 10 times bigger than the Russian economy, the Kremlin may become not only economically, but also politically dependent on Beijing. A second major benefit that the Chinese government gains is the shift of the entire Western agenda from Asia to Europe. It is no secret that America has been treating China as a main rival for several years now. Even though Russia has played a big role in American politics, it started to seem less significant and to lack explicit capacity. However, the military operation in Ukraine completely changed the American view of global security and painted Russia as an immediate enemy who is engaged in an armed conflict next to NATO borders. Either way, this conflict will deeply affect the Western community. From now on, they will pay more attention to Europe and concentrate on European security. The Chinese government will reap significant benefits from this, because the focus will shift away from Asia in the coming years, and China will be able to strengthen its authority in the region. This also includes national arms. Since the beginning of the conflict, NATO has been arming the Eastern European countries to protect them from danger. If this continues, it might dilute NATO's budget and deploy significant forces in Europe, putting too many eggs in one basket. The third reason is the change to the balance of power in the world. China does feel comfortable enough with the existing dynamic, but its government still sees certain challenges for further development and expansion. Today's conflict in Ukraine has already shaken the world community, and people might start questioning the effectiveness of existing alliances, and the competence of the world's hegemons, the United States in particular. The sanctions imposed by the Western world on Russia have scared many countries outside of their regions, and they may start abandoning the US centricity in their politics. The Gulf countries, for example, have already began to make economic maneuvers. China can take advantage of that by taking the initiative, as it is already the world's second largest economy. They could strengthen the Yuan's global influence not only through Russia, but also through countries outside of the Western bloc. Their payment system Union Pay also has an opportunity to expand, since Russia is slowly switching to it instead of using conventional Visa and MasterCard. The fourth important reason is Taiwan and the Western reaction. 
Taiwan has always been a fickle issue for the Chinese government. Ever since its foundation, mainland China has never recognized the independence of the island and has always considered it its own territory over which it has temporarily lost control. After strengthening its status in the world, China has been raising the issue of regaining control over Taiwan more often, and in recent years China has both rhetorically and militarily put pressure on Taiwan. Chinese warships regularly pass near Taiwan, and Chinese military planes frequently fly over the island. For the past couple of years, Western politicians have been speculating that China plans a military offensive on Taiwan in order to annex the islands. So how is it relevant to Ukraine? Right now, China is observing how the West responds to actions taken by both sides of the conflict. China may have a similar plan for attempting to take over Taiwan. So by observing the current situation, the Chinese government can adjust their plan or maybe even abandon it. They've seen how the conflict has rallied the West, what everyone is ready to do to contain Russia, and which sanctions they are ready to impose. At the same time, they might note that a country with nuclear weapons can get away with many things, and that no one is willing to be involved in such a war. China might consider Russia's attack on Ukraine as a tryout for the future war in Taiwan, as it observes the consequences without any risks. It's worth mentioning a number of setbacks that are starting to affect China due to the conflict in Ukraine. Firstly, the prices for resources and food have increased, ranging from oil to wheat. Despite its large economy and resource potential, China still needs to import a significant amount of materials from other countries, and the current price increase will have an impact on its economic growth. Moreover, for the first time in the last decade, China's GDP growth has decreased because of COVID. So the present economic shakeup will be an additional blow to its economy. Surely this issue will be relevant in the short term. But again, right now the Chinese economy is experiencing hard times. Secondly, the role and the military power of NATO might increase in the near future. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, many were wondering why NATO wasn't disbanded as well, since its main purpose was to contain the USSR. However, the current conflict has proven without a shadow of a doubt that the alliance is still relevant, and in the next 10 years, it could get a second wind. A strengthened Western bloc will only make life harder for China by preventing its expansion in Asia and Taiwan's occupation. And the third reason is a problem of maintaining a neutral position. During the first week of the conflict, China was hand-waving it away, and no one batted an eye. But three weeks later, the USA started to put pressure on the Chinese government, forcing it to take a side. Of course, China will still be able to keep its neutrality. However, it is possible that at some point, China would ultimately have to choose. This choice won't be easy, and China would have to bear the cost either way. Let's sum it up. This conflict allows China to strengthen its economic and political influence in Russia and observe the consequences of a potential war in Taiwan. At the same time, China's potential enemies will be distracted by Europe, and the war itself will shift the balance of power in the world. However, the conflict might force China to pick a side, and it already incurs expenses like a sharp increase in resource prices and the increased influence of NATO. Thanks to all my patrons. If you'd like to support me, check the link in the description. Thank you for watching and goodbye.